So in today's video, I thought we'd have a bit of fun and we will try picking through all of these uh, mini locks. Uh, now, I got a job lot of padlocks recently on eBay and it came with all of these mini locks. One of the padlocks that I was after in that lot was this uh, multi-lock, which I've featured before on this channel. Uh, let's just compare uh, the size of one of these mini locks with that multi-lock. And as you can see, yeah, it's absolutely dwarfed by it. Uh, now, whereas locks like this have obviously got, uh, they're, they're physically tough and they've got all sorts of security features, security pins, which make picking very difficult. These mini locks do come with their own challenges. So if I just grab one of them there, as you can see, the keyways are tiny. They don't really come with security pins. Uh, very unlikely to. They're very cheap. I mean, you could probably use a pair of pliers or something and cut through some of these shackles. Um, but the problem they present when it comes to picking is there's just no room in the keyway. So if I put a bottom of the keyway tensioner in there, as you can see, we have filled up the keyway completely. I've got no room to get my hook in. Um, and we could uh, try and find a smaller bottom of the keyway tensioner, but even a really small one, you're going to struggle to get a hook inside them. We could use top of the keyway. Uh, I've got a thin top of the keyway here, but I don't even though that one does fit in it does fit in but again we've, we've just not got any room in the keyway to get a hook in and get these picked so let's have a look at the best way to get these open I think what I'm going to use to pick all of these locks that's my challenge for today is this city rake uh, now the city rake uh, has got a pretty sort of standard profile but we've got lots of uh, highs and lows which come in really useful because if we just have a look at the keys grab one of these padlocks um, and compare that to the city rake I mean it's not a million miles off is it so the city rake for a lot of these padlocks is almost like a key so what we're going to do is as well as using the city rake uh, to um, yeah, deal with the pins, we're actually going to put a bit of turning force on it as well. And because the C-rake is going to pretty much fill up that keyway. So if I just put it in, <laughs> give it a bit of a wiggle. There we go. We got the first one open. So I'm going to put the open ones here. Let's grab another one and see if we can carry on with our momentum. So a little bit of a wiggle, a little bit of up and down. Um, it's going to be really embarrassing for me if some of these padlocks do end up holding out on me, isn't it? This one's not gonna. Uh, I'm gonna put him. I'm gonna put him there. I'm gonna put him there. Let's try another one here. So let's get the C rake. Pop him in. Wiggle him about. There we go. Back on a roll. Grab another one. C rake in. Wiggle him about. Um, just making sure I had the uh, lock up the right way then. Now doing this does put a lot of stress on the C rake. Um, there we go. We got that one open. Um, hopefully, I'm not gonna not gonna break it in the uh, making of this video. There we go. We got that one open. Now this one here, I think, is the same as that one that was holding out on us. It may well have the same bit, and it may be different. I don't know. But there we go. That one gave up the goods. Let's try this one here. We've got a sort of bigger body on this one, but still a teeny tiny keyway. Um, get him in. There we go, straight away. Using the city rake for a lot of these padlocks. I mean, it's almost like uh, using the key itself. This one's a little bit larger. Looks a bit crusty, rusty, this one, but let's give them a go. See if we can get them open as well. Come on. There we go, we got that one open. Put the keys on there. All right, what we got here? So this one looks like a suitcase lock. Um, and you can see it's really quite recessed, which is actually a good security feature they should use in, you know, pretty standard padlocks more often, really, because it makes it difficult to get tensioners in there. But we can get a city rake in there, and hopefully that should get us the open. There we go, we got that one open. And we got another one there. I don't know if that's the same same bit in yeah it looks to have the same bit as that one so we should be able to get this one open uh, just as easily and there we go we've got that one open what we got here we got a little samsonite and this is a tsa by the look of it um a bit of a bigger keyway than a lot of these actually you could probably possibly fit some really slim picks in there but let's see if we can get this one open 
use the same technique. Oh, I thought I'd got it open for a second there. Uh, yeah, use the same technique, uh, just wiggling it around in there. Oh, maybe the TSA is going to hold out on us. Tell you what, we're going to put that one to the side as well. And we've got this little one here. Let's give that a go. And we got that one open. So we've got all of these locks open within a sort of second or two. Why is this one not opening? Let's give this a bit of another go. Maybe, um, I don't know, maybe it's got security pins in it. Maybe it's a high security mini lock. Maybe it's, com <laughs> maybe it's completely rusted solid. Um, let's give it another go, come on. Why is it holding out on me? It just doesn't want to open, does it? I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly check that the paddle lock, that it is working before I snap my uh, city rake uh, for your entertainment. Ugh, the pressure's on now. So it does work. Um, it does work smoothly. Come on. I can't believe this one's holding out on me. Let's go back to this TSA lock um, and see if that one will give up the goods. Just double check it's locked, double check he's working as well. Yeah, it does work fine. So it is just my technique that needs a little bit of work. I think with this one, because it's got a bigger keyway, um, it's harder to kind of uh, tension it. That's my excuse. Did we get open? No, we didn't. Okay, these two are holding out on us. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna to switch to a, a different tool. The city rake didn't cut it, I'm a bit disappointed. But I'm determined to get these two open. But anyway, we've got all of those ones open. So the city rake alone was not enough to handle the TSA, so I had to have a bit of a rummage and find this little tensioner, which hopefully should, uh, should fit in there and then we can get the city rake and get back to sort of wiggling and hopefully we can get this mighty uh, TSA lock open and we did it. So I think the problem with that one, let's put it in the, in the picked pile, uh, was just down to the city rake not being big enough to provide tension. However, this mighty black spur padlock uh, is a different kettle of fish. So in order to get this one picked, I decided to go down a different route um, I've made a custom tensioner, there we go, out of a hair clip, and I also thought I'd break out this mini custom. Uh, now the steel in this was made by Matt's lock pit and I put these uh, beautiful uh, turquoise scales on. So yeah, mini lock, mini tools, no problem. Let's see if we can get this one picked. So I think that fits. I think we'll do top of the keyway with this one. If we can, there we go. We've got top of the keyway and I'll go in with this uh, hook and we'll see if we can single pin pick this bad boy. Maybe this one is chock full of security pins. Um, maybe I just don't have the necessary skills to pick him. I don't know. Oh, I heard a click. That means we must be making progress. I think the top of the keyway tensioner is blocking my view. Let's turn him around that way. See if we get any better results. There we go, I can see a bit better now. And we got this one open. There we go. So we just had to bring out the big guns or in this case, uh, the small guns. Anyway. Lots of fun to pick mini padlocks. I'm a bit disappointed that this uh, city rake didn't manage to get open the mighty black spur. But luckily, ingenuity uh, saved, saved the day and we were able to get them picked. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll leave a little DMAC logo up there to subscribe. That's always appreciated and I will uh, yeah see you guys on the next one.